Hi, welcome back. So in the last video, we looked at hierarchies. And in this video, we're going to create our own hierarchy. And we're going to talk about aggregations. But first, let's answer your homework question. The challenge was to know how much we spent in March 2016 and in March 2017. So since you've gotten a little familiar with hierarchies, we can answer the question that way. Let's quickly review that we can initiate hierarchies by clicking the drill and data option at the top and choosing drill down or expand or show next level or see records. Or we can also come down and do this at the visualization pane on the actual visualization. So I'm going to click the drill down button, which allows me to drill down and it will highlight up at the top if you have that selected and it will also highlight on this. So let's start with 2016 and I know all I have to do is click the bar. I know March is in quarter one and now I have March here, but this is quite difficult to see. So to make this clear, let's add data labels. And as we practiced before, we can go over to the visualization pane, click the paintbrush, go down to data labels, click on, and let's increase that size to 16, where we can see it very clearly. Now we have the amount of money that we spent in March, which is $1,644.58. Let's go back up in our hierarchy to year so we can look at 2017. And instead of drilling down, I'm going to expand. And remember, expand allows you to keep each stage in your hierarchy or each level in your hierarchy. So I'm going to click down. It gives us all of the quarters and all of the years because that's the next stage in our, in our hierarchy. Let's click expand again and then we have everything. And to make your visualization easier to see, you can drag it out. Now that we see that we spent Five, $5,685,099 in March 2017 and we spent in March 2016 was well, February. Let's go to March 1.6K or $1,644.58. So it's about seven and a half or 7.9 or, or somewhere around there we spent for those two particular months in 2017 and 2018. So let's bring our hierarchy back to 2016 and 2017. Now, what happens if you just go down one level? If you go down one level, we can see quarter one, quarter two, and quarter three, and quarter three, four. But which year does that belong to? It belongs to both. So we know if we go down another level, we're going to get to the month. And we know we spent about seven and a half or $7,900 in March. So if by using the option that go down a level, this aggregates all of the years because it ignores the previous level in the hierarchy. All right. Very important to know. So let's, let's, ex so we have been looking at totals and total is a sum. But what about if you wanted to know the average that we spent and not the total? 
the average, maybe the average per quarter. If we go over to your fields section, we can see that we have our hierarchy here on the axis and in the values we have spent. So we know we're summing the spent, but what if we want to change from sum to average? We would highlight values, click it, and then we can see all the different aggregations. So if I click average, we can see the average per quarter or the average for that month. That is a different way of aggregating your data. So now let's create our own hierarchy. Maybe your boss wants to be able to drill down in your campaigns and wants to drill down from campaign to add group to add manager. So we need to create a hierarchy. Very easy to do. You move over to your field section and go to the top what you want to be the first part of your hierarchy, which is campaign. So we right click campaign and we have an option for new hierarchy. Click new hierarchy and we can see that there is a new field that says campaign hierarchy and in that you can see that indentation is campaign. The next thing you want to bring in is your add group. So click add group with the left mouse button, bring it down to campaign hierarchy and drop it in. And you have, now you have two points in your hierarchy, two levels. The last level we need is our ad manager. So we left click that, bring it down to campaign hierarchy, drop it in. Now that we have a campaign hierarchy, let's visualize this. We can click campaign hierarchy which brings all of ours in the default table but I would like to see this as a pivot table so we can click matrix which is equivalent to a pivot table click matrix and now your data is moved up to the highest hierarchy so your if we wanted to see how that hierarchy is set up we would click expand one level so we can see everything and preserve each level in the hierarchy e and d are in campaign one and add group b is in campaign three and add group a is in campaign three if i go down and expand one more level i can see the actual add managers in each one of these campaigns. Now, your boss may come to you and say, hey, I want this, this to be changed. I would like the ad manager to be at the top of the hierarchy. So let's get rid of this visualization and go back over to your fields, take ad manager, and we want to move him up the hierarchy. The easiest way to do that is exactly as imagined. Just click Add Manager, move them above campaign in your hierarchy, and now they are at the top of your campaign. Let's click campaign. We have our default visualization, which is a table. Let's click matrix. Now the first part of that hierarchy is the ad manager and I'm going to bring in spend to see how much money each one of them have generated now your task is to tell me how many ad groups has each one of these ad managers managed and the average spin per ad group. See you in the next video.